Okay, so we's down here, right on the Connecticut River, right below a dam. In fact, to get the signs up, you know, if there's a flash flood, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hightail out of here. But fortunately, I don't think that's gonna be an issue for us today. At least not, you know, right, right now. You've got a uh, nice little orchid here, a spiranthes, not, not quite open yet. Enjoying the little riverside community. Not sure what species it is. Partially, you know, because it's still, um. You know, it's still uh, in bud there, not quite open yet. But I suspect it might be the hooded ladies' tresses. Spiranthes romanza flora, romanza nofnia. I can't, I can never remember. Start with an R, the species epithet. I just don't know. And I just think that because that little bract is just wrapped around the base of that flower there. This one's, you know, probably going to be open this week. There's another one right there. You can make that out, that little dealy bopper. We're gonna take a look around. I saw a nice companion. I saw a uh, you know, Chelone Glapper. We've already seen those things before. Might just make this a quick one. We're gonna go see what's going on, maybe up around this corner. Go take a look at some nice stuff on the hill. You get the combination of an area you probably shouldn't be in, and then the power line easements. You know, that's my that's my whole thing, but we'll see what's going on. Got a really cool, uh, really cool sedge here, too. Is that even a sedge? No, that, that might be a grass. That's kind of nice. All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, definitely not in season anymore, but here's a cool Mimulus. I've never talked about this family on the channel before. This is Mimulus ringens, the Allegheny monkey flower. Family's Frymaceae. You get a lot of these in some other places, I think down south and out west, they call them monkey flowers. They split the whole thing up. You get Mimulus, you get the Placus. There's another, there's another one that I think that you get too. But this is Mimulus ringens, Allegheny monkey flower, Frymaceae's the family. It's pretty cool. It's a five lobe flower, but it's obviously bilaterally symmetrical. You get three on the bottom, two petals up top, opposite leaves, square stem. Almost reminds you, you know, of a mint. And indeed I do believe, I mean, I'd be kicking myself if this wasn't in the order. Lay me alleys. I think that they just did a whole bunch of genetic work and they broke up a few of the genera. Really interesting winged calyx there. These are, you know, usually a lot more abundant in summer, as I understand, but they like the riverside habit, which is uh, you know, exactly what we're dealing with right now. That's cool, lucky find. This guy's on his way out, and that, uh, that uh, Spiranthes was on its way in, huh? Yeah, see, here's some more of those Spiranthes. These ones are a little bit smaller, but these ones are actually open, there you go. Not one I've seen before. I'm leading towards hooded ladies' dresses, but I'm not too sure. I got a person who could probably tell me for sure. But definitely a newer species to me, one of the northern trending species. You basically get a line split. Everything kind of in northwest, northern or western New England fits into one category, and everything in southeastern New England fits into another. And to my knowledge, with the exception of a few species, you don't really get much overlap. Diminutive little uh, orchids. Baranthes are cool. I, I really kind of ignored them last year, and then this year I kind of went balls to the wall with them, so yeah, it is what it is. Okay, two two quick species before we go, and then we'll hightail it out of here. These two you've seen before. This is Campanula rotundifolia. Get the auto zoom on. Campanulaceae is the family. I'll turn the auto zoom off, I guess. Campanulaceae is the family. Bluebells, Scottish bells, go by many common names. Triffid stigma down in there. Okay, Lobelia, same family as, uh, same family as, uh, oh, I said Lobelia. Campanulaceae, so same family as Lobelia. Linear leaves, for some reason, alternate, even though it goes by the term rotundifolia. I don't quite, I don't quite get that one. But, uh, likes the rocky shit, which is exactly where we are now. You can see those imposing floodgates up ahead. And, uh, right over here, actually, I'll turn the camera off for a second. I'll show you the Chelone Glabra. Little grapevines going everywhere. It's a cool habitat, but it's kind of a, uh, eh, with the exception of those um, ladies' tresses, not too much I would consider to be that exotic. And even then, those aren't a rare, I'm guessing those aren't one of the more rare species of ladies' tresses, not, not in this area anyway. Probably one of the common northern trending ones. But anyway, let me show you this cool turtle head, this cool uh, 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 plantain, technically, it's in Plantagenaceae. Then we'll get out of here. I just was looking at that plant yesterday. It's just a cool one, you know. Okay, here you go. Here's one I would have just seen yesterday. Met it for the first time. This is Chelone glabra. 
Scrofulariaceae is a family. This one kind of looks like hell, but it uh, you know needs the water. Kind of growing a little bit far from it. Same fit, Plantagenaceae. Sorry, I don't know if I said scrofa Plantagenaceae. You flip this guy over. Come here. You can flip this guy over, and then you can see. There's that stigma style. There are all the stamens up in there. A, uh, a, a plantain. Uh, really closely related to Penston, but not something I need to spend too much time beating you over the head with again. In any case, I think that's going to do it for me for today. Just wanted to squeeze, you know, a quick one in there before uh, heading back. Anyway, enjoy your September. Got a few more videos I'm planning to shoot, obviously. And uh, we'll go from here. Take it easy.